Hello there guys, Quirty Afro here with another video. Today we're going to be starting a new series on the channel and I'm quite eager for this one because, um, you know, I've always wanted to do one of these kind of type of games similar to the kind of Prison Architect kind of style of games, but um, Prison Architect never really interests me because, like, I don't know, like, prisons isn't really my thing. But I did see this game not too long ago when it did actually come out in Early Access on Steam, uh, Sim Airport. And I definitely, airports are definitely something I'm a lot more uh, interested in and something I need to just get out of the way f before I even start. I need to stop pronouncing airport instead of aeroport. It's a very bad habit of mine. I don't know why I say it. It's probably because I'm bilingual and, um, and because in, in Croatian, which I speak, um, it's kind of uh, the way it's said is a bit similar to aero, so that's why I kind of get mixed up when I say airport to, to aeroport. So I do apologize if I do say aeroport at all in this series, but I'm going to try and be on my best behavior to say sim airport instead of sim aeroport. But I'm very interested in airports. I think they're really cool. I love the whole kind of management and just even in general in real life I think that just it's like a really cool operation to have like because you have different parts and segments of the airport where people are just shuffling through and whatnot and it's a great kind of thing and I like that kind of thing of flow of people that's and I hope like something like this series or like say maybe my transport fever series when it starts getting back up will, will kind of reminisce of like my time when I used to do Cities in Motion 2 and definitely there's not been many kind of types of games like that on the channel since I did uh, since I finished um, Cities in Motion 2 so it'd be really cool to get into some of these games where I'm just each episode just building up some stuff and whatnot uh, so Sim Airport, uh, it's in early access. Uh, it's basically trying to be the uh, prison architect for airport, uh, airports, and uh, I'm interested in it quite a lot. There is still some, uh, there is still some kind of issues and whatnot with it, um, which the game gets heavily, heavily patched actually, which is really, really good. So hopefully things will change over the coming months and the hope throughout the year with this game, and I'm definitely going to hopefully be still with it and uh, hopefully the series will be nice and lengthy. I hope you're going to uh, enjoy it. It's not going to be too long videos. They're going to be like maybe 20 to 25 minute videos. Um, stuff like Train Sim and obviously they're, they could be way longer. But this is going to be just like an episodic kind of thing. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, you know, tell me your thoughts and opinions and get interactive in the comments down below if you have any kind of suggestions whatever what I'm doing in this series. The shouts for this video go to Manning underscore plays and Zane team. That's again Manning underscore plays and Zane team. The links are stuff will be down below. If you would like a shout out, please use the QWERTY forms link that is down below, where you can also suggest suggestions for videos as well as uh, questions to the Q A series, Q and A series. So, um, Sim Airport kind of start on this kind of blank kind of canvas really you get one runway do you believe and you have some taxiways and whatnot but it's a pretty kind of bland airport you have to schedule in your own kind of stuff and whatnot which is pretty cool uh, and then you can also, also obviously edit and whatnot I think I'm gonna do a new game and I think I'm gonna put should I do it in sandbox or should I do it in career mode I'm not too sure I'll probably maybe start off in sandbox um, we can do maybe a large map, um, stuff like see this random events and show tutorial there, like things uh, still need to be kind of like uh, um, implemented into the game. So see my map's slightly larger, so we'll just we'll work on this kind of canvas for now. Uh, as you can see, there's quite a lot of stuff that you can do. Uh, there is, this is quite far away, but... Um, each kind of area, like you can only build certain objects and whatnot in specific areas that tailor for that kind of specific object or um, utility kind of ob uh, like function machine or you know just the kind of object that you build or whatever it needs to be in the area that you zoned it for so there's like here outside there's a garbage there's a drop off pickups and deliveries deliveries are very important because when you're building stuff that's where deliveries get dropped off and your workers run all the way to the airport and build whatever you want to actually get built up in the actual terminal so you have build here in the build tool it's mainly just kind of like things that uh, basically your kind of foundation and your flooring off the airport so this is basically what you would build 
objects on eventually and this probably costs the most in terms of money to kind of build and uh, you can make it kind of look cool and aesthetic or there's de kind of it's, there's different floors I think there's actually been more added since the game actually did launch but I'm sure in the future there'll be more so yeah there's floors and then there's tools as well like in terms of like roads you can build roads and stuff to kind of add new drop-off points and whatnot you can add fences taxiways walls foundations and walls very important when you're building the terminal because you, you need them to build stuff on top of then we have the objects, which uh, will be fun. Uh, this is just all your kind of stuff, like your ticket machine, your kind of stuff that you will need. Kind of like right now, you can see it's a very bland airport kind of now. Oh, just when you get used to these controls, I'm pressing the middle mouse button here and it's just moving around crazy. All these kind of stuff you can see. Uh, you have restrooms, you have your sinks and your toilets, and um, you have uh, here. What? Oh my god, these mouse con these middle mouse controls are a bit crazy. Uh, stuff like here: metal detector, your bag scanner, your ID check stand, as well as uh, your kind of gate agent desk, as well as your ticketing desk, etc. So all of that stuff will be in your kind of um, in your in your object kind of area as well. We have different things that obviously have, we haven't built yet, like cafes and whatnot, etc. This will be all here, and aesthetical kind of objects as well to kind of beautify your airport. Obviously we have to hire staff. Right now I do believe it's just security and staff are in there and also we have some workmen. But I don't think we have a janitor. We might have a janitor. Maybe we're going to have to hire one anyway. Food workers for cafes etc. Uh, as well as uh, CEOs and CFOs which basically uh, that's the kind of research kind of gameplay of the of the kind of uh, sim airport kind of game. Uh, you get those if you want to research things for finance etc etc. Zones, of course, uh, you can see already we have some zones like restroom, security, baggage came and ticketing. That's just kind of marks where you need to build certain things because I don't. If you, I think if you don't zone things, people won't go to them. So you actually have to do a lot of zoning, which is kind of good. You know, it, could, it kind of also visually tells you where kind of things are and whatnot. Utilities is right now only really for the conveyor line. We're going to get into that probably in the upcoming episodes and whatnot. That just kind of builds up your um, underground. Uh, baggage routing system once you want to move baggage. I think early on now in this first episode We're not going to really dwell in that we're going to just kind of build up some stuff schedule some uh, Flights and whatnot so we're not going to get too much into the conveyor line stuff because that that that's when we want to Spend some big money and actually build up some sort of um, Underground network of conveyor lines and whatnot Queuing is very very helpful um you can queue basically things to anything. Uh, you can assign even some stuff. Like you can actually assign here, like a ticketing desk to a um, uh, a queue, which is very very helpful actually. So you could do individual queues to one. Uh, you could do individual queues to each for each um, ticketing desk, or you can do one big queue and then assign multiple ticketing desks to a queue, which I think is very nice. And I just like those kind of options that you get, where you can just tailor things to your own kind of needs and whatever you don't really have to just do oh yeah just assign everything to that and whatnot you can do you can do more you can like there could be one queue for maybe first class passengers as well this is uh, something uh, that also the game has where you can actually do queues for first class passengers and whatnot and that later on might be good because then first class passengers can go on first and then economy and business and whatnot uh then you have like your reports and whatnot and this just kind of tells you like gives you a kind of nice information like this this would be kind of good late game when you kind of know when you kind of like have so much going on it'll be nice to know what's actually um going on and whatnot and this is quite nice i like it so it kind of info like it's an info uh, heat map which is uh, which is really nice uh, then we have the planning which i think i don't know actually too much i haven't used the planning too much i think this is do you just color code things with it I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure about the plan. Basic tools to plan your airport. Oh, so this just ah uh, uh, okay. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. I don't think I don't. I've never used a planning tool from like what I've played around by myself in this game. Um, but oh, that's cool. So you can kind of just like plan some stuff where you want to eventually put some stuff. So if you want to build things that you're sure about first, and you could put out an area and say I'm not going to build there. I'm going to give that some time and then come back to it once I have enough money or like when I want to actually build that and move along and whatnot. And then essentially that's all the kind of building tools then you basically have the um the pricing which you can charge your runway use, your terminal use um and uh, this obviously gets unlocked as well with uh, researching which you need to hire you need to hire COOs and CFOs and whatnot. Scheduling, which uh, we don't have any flights right now, no one's using our airport. 
We then go on to, the, this is just all the kind of state and stuff, but you'd go on to the airline interest and then basically you can see what airlines are actually interested in actually booking some flights and you can like bid to get some flights and whatnot. So right now it's Aerotime, Afford Air, Pacific Airlines and Aerostar. See, if I go into like Aerotime, you can see here that I can accept some of their flights that they that they want. And airlines will only give you flights, offer flights if their airport interest level is high enough. So if you make a really nice airport that's going to attract a lot of people, you're going to get a lot more interest from all these separate individual airline companies, which is really, really nice. And that's what we're going to try and aim for. Up here, you, again, you have your airline interest. So right now, we're at forty percent. You have your your weather, which I think there are some tools and some things that you can build to kind of sim uh, to forecast weather a lot better, which makes your airport a lot more safer, and uh, you can forecast for f better flights and better scheduling of flights and whatnot. You have passenger satisfaction because uh, if people are not happy, airport uh, airline interest is not going to be good and whatnot, so that's just kind of a nice uh, extra statistic. And then obviously we have a bank balance, but obviously I put it on sandbox, so it shouldn't really matter too much. Uh, but that's about it. That's a nice explanation. I hope you've enjoyed that kind of breakdown. I know you probably know already what, ha what the hell happens in this game, but I'm just doing it just if people maybe haven't seen this game already, and I'm just doing it for the sake of the first episode and whatnot. And then obviously here you can see the research, which we need a CFFO or COO, and we can then do some stuff with like bank loans, finance, multi-lane access, etc., which is uh, pretty cool. Changes your airport entrance and exit to be two-lane roads for higher... Yeah, that's pretty cool, actually. That's when you get to like a really big airport. Right. What are we going to do with our first? First of all, let's, um, because right now we have a nice little setup. We have some ticketing machines. We have some security. Uh, and the thing is also, if we don't have a good security area, uh, the airport will shut down and people won't be able to go through. You need to have a good secure area where people can funnel in and out from, and that needs to be secure. Right now we do, so we, I, I technically we could actually go, and, uh, we can go into error time. And we can actually, we can accept maybe one, Let's accept one flight and actually let's see where that appears on the schedule. And the thing that's nice is you can actually move the the flight around, which is very nice as well. So if you have multiple flights and you maybe have only one gate, um, moving around the flights is going to be really, really useful. You don't want to have multiple flights and only one gate and then they all come at the same time and they're going to be waiting and then passengers are not going to be satisfied. So it let's, for example, if I now go on to the... Uh, except the other one you can see it's going to come out after which is nice it might have actually popped uh like on the same time and then would have to move that around but that's nicely going to come after each other so um right now one thing i do not like is probably it's going to be the security uh, system around here um i've seen many videos and i've seen over the time uh especially in the beginning parts of the game. I played actually this myself before I wanted to think of doing a series on this game. I actually played this game uh, quite a lot myself actually and uh, I found that the security area gets get a bit trucker blocked and whatnot and we're probably going to need to do something about that and I think improving this first would be actually probably one of the best things to do. Um, normally I would say what would be nice is what we could actually do is if we build some more foundation here and essentially have one thing I do, didn't really like is when you have um, when you have an uh, an airline like drop off some passengers and they come through the gate and whatnot that all the passengers would just scurry through the security kind of area here where that's the same area that people are coming in and uh, going through to the gates when they want to depart um, for for a flight. So I definitely think the first thing what I'd love to do is actually build some more foundation here and actually have a second security kind of way out for people, um, which um, would be really nice. I think another thing we could do actually, which I would actually wouldn't mind doing, is increasing the amount of... Um, Increasing the amount of ID checks here. That's gonna be another really nice thing we can actually do And I think I'm gonna do that first like, you know, get the security kind of stuff done first And then we can really look into doing some stuff with the um With like the ticketing and whatnot and then maybe uh, Doing some like conveyor kind of baggage stuff and whatnot right now. There's nothing really too much. I'm, I'm more f focused for the um uh, for the security so if I find the ID stand so right now you can obviously do uh, let me see how do I so you do middle mouse button and then you can click um, 
you can middle mouse button to click to rotate which is really cool and then we're going to build a few more of those id things uh another thing i think i will do is I think people normally first go into the back. This is really weird about how the starting position of this metal defect detector goes because people don't go through the metal detector first. They put things through the bag scanner first and then go through the metal detector. So this metal detector is really not in the right place. And you can see here my workers are now going to start coming in. So we could we could fast forward time a bit. We don't need to go on the on the on the, on the most slowest time. One thing we could do as well, we, we could actually hire a few more workers. Um, like four more that should be fine uh, i don't know uh, uh, this is on sandbox but i don't understand why i don't know why i don't know probably when we hit zero we can still buy stuff that's i think that's the thing i think if you uh get to zero on the normal one you can't actually buy any more things so i'd rather just do it kind of like in this way you know what i mean so we're having a nice line of id checks there and i'm i'm kind of really content with that I want to dismantle this metal detector and I want to uh, see right now because I don't have a metal detector areas need uh, certain things to kind of work and be online uh, so you can see here the security zone needs a bag scan it needs an ID check stand and it needs a metal detector or a body scanner and right now I'm dismantling my uh, metal detector and uh, because I want to move it and I want to also like oh, I don't know if I want to move the uh, the um, no, no, actually, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how uh, this kind of builds up now. That's good. And I think we... Oh, that's great. We already have a built-in wall, so I don't even have to build a, a wall on the outside. That's actually great. So, now, because uh, we have this area, which is really good, I'm kind of content we have, we have that. I'm actually going to build a wall, if I can find it. I'm going to build a wall like here that separates out uh, kind of like this area this main security area where people will come in and um, uh, let me put you there and one thing I need to do is I need to zone things as well uh, let's see get the security because uh, we can zone this area as well because this is this is the uh, this is the area we want to Actually, uh, no, actually, no, we don't actually have to, uh, the, the, um, uh, when people get dropped off, I don't think that needs to be a security area, I think. I'm not too sure, actually. How do I de-zone? No. Yeah, I think. There we go, that's fine. Whoa, why? Why, why, why did this build a wall? What the hell? Oh, it's... <laughs> Okay, uh, no, I don't, oh, okay, sell that, that's fine. Uh, let me dismantle clear and clear. Let's clear those two things. And let's build a, uh, we need to build the metal detectors as I, uh, I think that's where, that's how it goes. I think it's that way round, I think. Oh, and they need to. Oh, this is a thing. It gets dezoned. So let me just. Oh, and it's the flooring. Let's get the flooring sorted out. Actually, what is the flooring key? I think it is. Uh... Which one's the flooring key? I think it's this one. The floor one. Let's get that sorted. And I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give the kind of. Um... I'm gonna give this one a different flooring. I think. Why not? And we need to go back to the metal detector because we want a few of those here. Blocked by pending. Oh, yeah, because, yeah, the construction. Blocked by pending. Blocked by. Oh, it's construction. Okay. Let's put two there. Uh, let's do some. Uh, let me do the bag scanner. I want two more extra bag scanners. So let me find where the bag scanners are. Um, there we go. Now that one's facing that way. I'm going to do another one this way. And then I'm going to do maybe another one that way. And another one that way or that way 
do that one. Yeah, like, like that. that. That should be fine. Because I'm just looking at how it's... So there'll be one facing up, one facing down, one facing up, one facing down. Oh. I just saw the arrows on the top. That's going to be quite annoying. So that's going to go that way. Uh, right, let's uh, disassemble those because... Let's dismantle. Let's dismantle because I don't want I don't want some people flowing one way, some people flowing the other way. That's just not going to be good for us. Let's also increase the speed like tremendously because obviously we need we want to get to the uh, afternoon flight section and whatnot. Uh, let me now build a bag scanner there. And there, so it, it just has to be that way. I, I was doing it like the way that, like, the, like basically, I was doing it how like in air uh, in airports it is like there's one facing one way, the other one facing the other way, and then some people can go through the middle, and then there's certain places where like there's two that are facing away from each other, and then that middle part is just for staff. So that's that was the kind of thing I was trying to go for, but obviously I couldn't really do it. Uh, let's get some more of these. Can we fit any more of these metal detectors in? No. That's really annoying. I wish uh, we could. I guess we could fit like like that. That's actually cool. I like that. And then we could like even put like a plant or something to kind of uh, block that corner. I guess like a decorative plant, like somewhere. Oh no, that's too big. Damn. Like uh, like that. I guess maybe. And then I can't, that's so annoying that you can't fit one there, that's really, really annoying. I know that, those plants, the plants without anything like uh, around them go outside. Oh, there's a new cafe chair. This is something new, I've not, I've only seen the wooden cafe chair, so this is like a little bit, because uh, this, this game has been like getting updated so like constantly, constantly getting updated. Let's, let's do one there, let's, let's do a nice little, uh, <laughs> nice little treat there. Anyway, that is, should be all fine. One thing I need to actually include onto this part so people can actually start following out when they, um, return, oh, what's this? Requires being secured by one or more security areas. It is secure there, I don't know what. Ah, uh, oh, no, that, mm. Oh, I see. Yeah, I see. I need to actually make that. Yeah, there you go. Oh, let's let's pause that down a bit. Getting our first uh, customers in here, and that's that's actually all flowing actually really nice. I like that. Uh, one thing I want to do is I want to. Where's the uh, gate? There is a. There is a gate, a security exit gate. Now I don't know if I want to put them here. Cannot be placed adjacent to a security zone. Cannot. Okay. okay. I'm going to put them there. So that's where the passengers that will come out now of this first plane. First ever plane here at our airport. Come out. So hopefully now. Ah. Uh, so, okay. See, this is the issue here. Some of them. Some of them go that way, and I think the reason why it's uh, the reason why is if I I think if I put some cues, if I put some cues, this might actually resolve some issues here. Let me put a let me put a cue. Let's begin a cue actually. Uh, let's start here. Oh, the cues look completely different. Oh my god. Oh, they look so cool. Oh my god, I like... Oh no, no, I don't like that. Oh, they look so much better than before. Before they were just lines on the floor. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. So right now, you'll see... So now I have like a queue system here. Now one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to assign the... ID things to a queue. Uh, now I need to find which one. I think that's that one. Assign. Uh, oh, that's so annoying. I can't see. Close. Okay. Then we're going to assign. 
sign this one to that one, I think. Yeah, sign that one to that one. And we're going to sign this one, if I can click it properly. Oh, no, I've clicked it. That's fine. I'm going to sign that one to that one. And this one we're going to assign to... Some re oh, that one's... Oh, okay, so I need to hire... I'm going to hire a few more security staff. That should be fine. Now I can probably... That's re oh, that's so annoying, actually. Oh, but look at that. That's so... Why are people walking through there? I made a nice kind of thing for you there. Oh my god, and look, at the, look at the baggage. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there for the first episode. I hope you're going to enjoy this series. Um, it's definitely going to take some time to get into this, but I hope you're going to enjoy it. I know we, we did some stuff, you know. We, we built up a... Um, we built up this, you know, it's not, it's not bad for what it is. Let me uh, get a nice screenshot there for the thumbnail, because why not? But I hope you're going to enjoy it. Hope you, you come on this ride for me as I build my first ever, uh, well not my first ever, I've, I've started building other airports uh, on this game, but this is the first one I'm doing on YouTube. I hope you're going to enjoy it. Um, Shouts again go to Manning Plays and Zane Team. That's again Manning Plays and Zane Team. The links and stuff will be down below. Show them some love. The Quirky Afro forms link will be down below if you want to shout out. Fill out the form. And uh, other than that, I will see you guys in the next episode of uh, me playing some Sim Airport. Take care, guys. Bye bye. We ain't